In this video, we'll continue our study of the three I's, identity, ions, and isotopes. Specifically, we're going to study ions in this video. An atom becomes an ion when it gains or loses electrons. I want to read this statement again. It's important that we understand the distinction between an atom and an ion. So an atom becomes an ion when it gains or loses electrons. Commit that to memory. That's very important. We're going to use it um, all throughout the semester. So let's look at the difference between an atom and an ion. An atom has a neutral charge. Well, how does one of these elements here, how does it have a neutral charge? Well, the way it has a neutral charge is by having the same number of positives and negatives. So an atom has an equal number of protons and electrons. So an equal number of positives and negatives. That atom can then become an ion when it gains or loses electrons. So an ion will have a positive or negative charge. So naturally, an ion will have an unequal number of protons and electrons. So let's look at our periodic table. And remember on top, that's where we've written the charges. So let's look at sodium, for example. This is the element sodium. When it exists as an atom, it has 11 protons and therefore 11 electrons. So this is how we would write the symbol for the sodium atom. Sodium can also exist as an ion. When sodium's an ion, it has a charge of plus one. Well, how do we know sodium has a charge of plus one? Well, it's located in this group, and all of the elements in this group, when they form ions, will have a charge of plus one. So how did sodium get a charge of plus one? Remember, sodium is made up of positives and negatives. So how did it get a positive charge? It didn't get a positive charge by gaining protons. That does not happen. It gains or loses electrons. So if sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons, the way that it gets a positive charge is by losing one electron. So remember, atoms are neutral. Ions have a charge, either positive or negative. Let's look at one more example, oxygen. Oxygen has eight protons and eight electrons. This is the neutral, so, um, this is the neutral oxygen atom. Here, oxygen has a charge of minus two. It's called oxide. It ends in I-D-E. So this is oxygen, this is oxide, and now it's picked up a charge of minus two. Well, how did oxygen get a charge of minus two. It must have gained something negative. So in this case, oxygen gained two electrons. That's how it became negative. So watch this video again if necessary, but make sure you understand the difference between an atom and an ion. It's very important. It cannot um, be overstated.